So I think the first thing is just really looking at um, from an academic standpoint, what is a major that I would be interested in and teasing that out. And it doesn't mean you're not gonna switch majors, but I really, I would really encourage um, the majority of student athletes, because we know, you know, the majority aren't going to go uh, pro, they're going to go pro in something other than sports is you need to have, you need to have a real path of what is the value of the, of the degree that you want to go after. That's first and foremost. You know, the second thing I would really try to focus on is, um, when you start to look at the team dynamics is what is your opportunity going to be able to play right as a freshman as a sophomore as a junior as a senior um, and then i would be asking to spend time not with the high-end guys and the reason is is it's you know when when we would host people on our recruiting trips when i was at arizona state it's they always want to put the recruit with the most important player from a marketing standpoint. And, and that's great. So when I was at Arizona state, Dustin Pedroy was a teammate. If we had an infielder come in, they're going to put him with Dustin and he's going to say, Hey, Dustin, what's your experience at Arizona state? And it's going to be fantastic, right? He's, he's best player in the country. Um, it's really easy. Not easy. That isn't the right word is it's just, I don't think it's a, it's a true reflection of what it's like for most players on the team. And so if I was a family, I would say, I want to talk to the, you know, on the roster, I want to talk to the player who's red shirted, who's the 24th, 25th person. Like, why do they stick around? What's the ethos of, of the locker room and what's it like? And so I think trying to take a step back and go, you know, and this takes a lot of maturity from a, from a student athlete and from their family during the recruiting process to not want to just be wowed, but to look at it from, um, you know, how do I pull the layers back and, and make these right decisions? So first and foremost, I'd understand the academics and I would have a plan and I would ask, how is this going to be supported? Because the reality is that's the value of why you're showing up on campus. Um, and then second, from a team standpoint, I would talk to, like I said, a lot of those players that maybe aren't the starting players to just understand what the culture is and what it's like working with the coaches um, when you're not the superstar. Because if you're the superstar, hey, that's going to be easy. Um, and so those are two of the big things that I, that I would ask.